Hi everyone, this is Ingrid and I'm from Pune. I have this little green patch that I have developed here in my little apartment. My terrace measures about 10 by 10 and uh, whatever little space I have, I've tried to put in a few plants. I'm a little crazy about them actually, you can see that. To give you a little overview of my garden, I've put in a few knickknacks, a few faces here and there to keep me entertained. The ZZ plant, that's the snake plant there, the spider, and these beautiful artistic leaves that you can see here, which are closing up now because it's almost sunset, are Galatia. The ZZ again, a little dash of color here and there, added by these small flowers. This is the Chinese money plant, and that's my butaji, adding so much character to the place, vibrant. And as I go up, I made this little grid here on which I've hung these pots. That's geranium. That's my little turtle vine coming out of a helmet shaped pot. And this is my marble money plant. Friends, this is jade and can you believe the size of the leaves? This is just because of a little fertilizer that I used. It's gone a long way. And that's caladium with the pink dots. They're doing brilliantly well, considering they're in small little pots. Adding a lot of color, the Kalanki. Good old Vinca. The hybrid variety though. That's my foxtail fern. This is one part of my garden. This is one wall. I've put in a few pots to decorate the place. Coming to this side of my garden is the turtle vine again, the cat's tail. This wandering Jew that I have is going out of a plastic inverted bottle. Here is my Gloxenia. The flowers are just over. I had purple flowers, purple and white. This friends here, this long leaved, this long leafed plant is um, Chlorodendron and you get beautiful bunches of white flowers coming on it. The bridal whale, very pretty flowers, but they're winter flowering plants. This is the fern again. This here is Tacoma and this variety is white and yellow. Wandering Jew. As I go up, this is the sweet potato wine. It's wound up this pipe here, it's going up the grid. It's doing pretty well. That's a little morning glory that's crept up the pole again. This is boat lily. It's growing in a bucket. Actually, we've just had a shower here, so the plants have got a lot of water and they seem to be pretty happy and smiling. That's my bougainvillea. And this, I'm not too sure about the name, but it's something that the birds dropped off and it began to grow in this pot. Those are little roses. I put this pigeon net to prevent the pigeons from coming in, otherwise they mess up the place. This plant here is Sijim. They have beautiful red, bright maroon leaves. That is the new leaves when they come, they are a bright red color. The Chinese ribbon. And another Buddhaji here, meditating. 
This is Syngonium, a different variety of that. Ficus. Now I've grown Sholi or Parijata in a pot and I'm very unsure of the flowering but let's hope it happens. It's a two-year-old plant and I'm hoping that'll come soon. And that's my turtle vine flourishing there in the corner in the rainwater. And that's Tacoma again, this is the pink variety. Here you go. So that's Dianthus or uh, carnations, single petal, double petal, purple wine. And friends, I need to show you all one thing. This is the angel winged begonia. This was a small little plant, about six inches when I got it, and now it's almost three feet with gigantic leaves. This is Stromanthes, Stromanthe, as they pronounce it. Maranta, and this beautiful purple leaf here is called the Persian Shield. It's a very, very vibrant plant now because it's a little dark. You might not see the color, but it's a very vibrant plant. Calathea and my little fairy in the corner here. And that's Kala Lily. Very pretty flower. I have a little fountain which has now gone in the backyard, in the background because of the rains. I'm not using it too much. And that's Peperomia hanging there. The Tangled Heart. This again is another Dianthes. This is also a begonia and this is called the painted leaf begonia begonias have beautiful flowers that's a rubber plant that I have up there syngonians oxalis I have two varieties of them one is this this is a shaded variety and this is a lighter colored leaf, which is smaller in size. This is again begonia. Huge leaves, almost like elephant ears. Begonia was just finished flowering. That's a colored jade in the corner. Got a little light that I've placed there which is made of coconut shell and wood. Aglonema, lipstick aglonema. And some decorative pots. This is Kalankui again. Light pink and orange. They add so much color and these flowers remain for months. This is Caladium again. Here is my little ant with a jade plant in it. Some orchids taken out of a bouquet I got yesterday. And another Buddha with the ZZ plant growing out of its head. So another jade growing out of the bamboo. You can see the Buddha in the background. Yeah, that's on my wall. I'm a little crazy about Buddha as you can see. So guys, this is my little green patch.
Hi, so further to my fixation on Buddhas, this happens to be the centerpiece of my house, the focal point. And I have this Buddha that's been pasted on the wall, it's a wallpaper. And uh, it overlooks my garden, it's a part of the sit out. And as you can see, he's meditating. And I've put the table, the dining table against it which forms a part of the sit-out and it overlooks the garden adds to the peace and calm so this is how it is hi this is my little window that I have tried to do up here and this begins from here with a lucky bamboo put into an orange pot and a peace lily plant here. There's too much of a glare of the sun and that's precisely why I've had to put up this green net here because we get the evening sun, the afternoon sun coming in right into the room. So I've covered it with the net. And here, friends, are a few little pots that, few plants that I have here. Most of them of the succulent variety. There's a money plant growing. I put in a stick for them to grow up. And there's this little birdie pot there. Some musicians playing for me in the background. Yeah, I've got these. Little fellows here in front, my spiders, this is the white and green jade. This prickly little plant here is called the cryptanthus and uh, you get it in two varieties. There's a, another snake looking leaf and those are my spiders growing there. And that's the angel winged begonia. I plucked out a few leaves from the main plant that I have in the other balcony. And they just stuck them into this spot and they're growing well here. This is a money plant. That's the fern. And this plant here is actually been pruned. That's the jatropha. It's been pruned, it got attacked by insects. So this is my little green patch on the window. And it overlooks my bed and gives me such a cool, soothing feeling every time you look at it, whether it's in the morning or in the, on the night. I will give you a night view of this. So I put on some lights and all that and they look really nice. And my little Buddha here. So you can understand my fixation with the Buddha statues. Yeah, so that's my little windowsill. And hope you guys liked it. Hi, so this is the night view of my balcony. I've done the day view already. I thought I'd show you all how the lights look and how the plants look. Got a couple of lights put here and there. I don't switch them on so as to avoid disturbing the plants. This is the Calathea. See how they've closed in the night. The variety of Calathea. They cluster together like they're embracing each other. It's so beautiful to see. That's my Buddha. I've tried my level best to keep this place very natural so it's more of mud and terracotta and coconut, wood, ceramic. I tried to avoid plastic as much as I could but this is Trumante, this is also closed up, all huddled. Yeah. In this 
this is my little rosy corner it's my little angel fairy here and that is a lamp that I've put in there it's made of wood and coconut shell I don't think the view is very clear and there are these lights that I've put on either side So it's bright enough, not too bright, just bright enough to sit here on a cool evening like this. We've just had a shower and there's a cool breeze blowing. And what a pleasure it is to sit here and unwind for the day. So guys, this is my night overview. I hope you guys liked it. This is how it looks. Hi, so this is the night view for my windowsill. That's the peace lily in the dark there. And I've put in a few lights. I've tried to conceal the lights a little bit so that they just reflect from behind. There's my Buddha Ji, and I've got a little ancient looking lantern there. And these string lights go right up and across the window to the other corner. Yeah, so this is my little window in the night so pleasing and so soothing to look at especially when you turn off the lights and you leave these lights on it's extremely calming so this is my windowsill and this is how it looks in the night hoping you like it and I wait to hear from you all